Government's newest social welfare initiative, the Food Stamp Program for the Poor and Indigents, is ready to roll out. Its first set of intended beneficiaries, the poorest among the lot, will each receive a food ID slash membership card with a preset amount of credits or digital cash that can be redeemed only for food items at participating groceries or partner food stores each time a beneficiary's card is swiped at the counter. Our Naomi Tiburcio has more. Instead of cash dole out, the government is planning on giving out food credit through the Department of Social Welfare and Development in order to help reduce the Filipino families that are food poor. This concept is derived from programs in other countries to give opportunities to less fortunate Filipinos to buy healthy food. With this mechanism, beneficiaries can buy food from DSWD's accredited partners such as groceries or wet markets. All they need is to show their food stamp. At the Kapihan sa Manila Bay, DSWD Secretary Rex Gachalian confirmed that the food stamp program in the country will be launched this year. Its initial target is 3,000 food poor or poorest of the poor families. DSWD is intending to select participants in the pilot testing from Barm, Caraga, or the island or mountain municipalities. Uh, may mga innovations na ilalagay ng departamento. Una, digital yung atin, hindi voucher. So working with the World Food Program, mayroon kang top parts where you just go to the accredited retailer, whether it's a grocery, a diwan of Manolo, or a small shop. You tap it and then you don't get the cash, but rather you get the food in book. The program ensures beneficiaries can only buy nutritional food as their food basket is predetermined in their food stamps. After six months, the SWD will look into expanding the project until all the one million food poor Filipino families in the country are given food stamps. DSWD will also contact the Department of Agriculture to sell the oversupplies of farmers' harvest to poor Filipinos. We will want him to tell us saan sa ang mga region at ano ano yung mga pinoproduce nila na excess. Later on, our beneficiaries can be encouraged to buy those. Meanwhile, next month, DSWD is scheduled to launch an expanded outreach program that will rescue those who live on the streets. The department is now busy in purchasing the necessary equipment for such as buses, transitional housing, and recruiting more social workers. Bilang yung papauwi, ito ang tasyo na yun. There will be economic input, sustainable livelihood grants given to them when they reach the other side with our field offices monitoring the progress of their economic enterprise. Naomi Tiburcio, For The Nation.